Bigfoots and then the racist animals that live in the city of Irving that treat our people with, with impunity and with disrespect and who treat our people as if they were criminal and if they were the scum of the earth are the people that are pressuring the city council to enact the criminal alien program that we find repulsive, we find uh, discriminatory, we find punitive and will be challenged in court. And, and I think that that's the kind of leadership that exists in Irving. We don't want, we're not against the Anglo community. We're against this very small, insignificant group of members of the KKK who keep on pressuring Herb Gears and the city council to enact horrible legislation that affects thousands of people, that has devastated small businesses in this community, that has put fear into the hearts of many people, that has stigmatized our children from wanting to go to school simply because people are saying Mexicans are no good. And I'm talking about Mexicans because that's who they're pointing out and that's who they're identifying and that's who they re they're attacking. So there exists racism and there exists hate and we're being subjected to that. Carlos, what do you say to your critics? Like Elizabeth Villafranco said this, this arrest sets a bad example for the, the youth, for people in the community. Well, my response to Elizabeth Villafranca is have her go to Cary, to Jefferson, to Cigarroa to go to Grawweiler, to go to Samoa Park, where we have thousands and thousands of children in sports and recreational programs, and that she should come join our, our soccer programs. Maybe okay. she'll lose some weight. Okay. <laughs> she, said, she said you disrespect authority. You don't respect the law or the authority. Has, has that affected your credibility as he's has, on you, I don't head? know. I, you know what? My credibility is very strong. My credibility, if you go into the, the soccer programs, the recreational programs, you look at the cheese heroin campaign that we did, our meeting with the president of Mexico, I think that speaks volumes for our credibility. Whether we're perfect, right. we're not perfect. We're imperfect people. But you know what? No one can question my commitment and my compassion in defending my community. And I will continue to do that. And, and rather than criticizing leadership, like, well, like what Elizabeth Villafranca, have Elizabeth Villafranca go out and organize cheese heroin or take children who are addicted to heroin to treatment programs or take children to Miami, Florida to be on the Christina show so that they can get treatment or go to Phoenix House or go to Broad Street or go to, to uh, Cigarroa or Jefferson and Cary and spend Sunday evenings and Sunday afternoons with children motivating them to be successful, to achieve, to have confidence, to have faith, to believe in themselves and to stay away from drugs. I don't sell tacos, I sell hope. She should clap already. Right. 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 Even in the mood of conspiracy in the city, are you saying that has something to do with your arrest today, being arrested? Well, obviously, they, they stopped me. I wasn't driving. I was not driving. But I know you're a person who has warrants out for your arrest. Well, how, how would they do that? Did they check? Have they, they investigated they me? They said they checked when you applied for a permit. To have I didn't apply for a permit. permit the rest. Acción America applied for a permit. Well, that, that's what they said. Acción America applied for a okay, permit. Well, are you the individual in Acción America? I mean, by, I mean by it was the one who applied. The one for the, the marcha, marcha, Carlos. Why? They did it in the, during the marcha. They did why? it during the marcha. Then, obviously, if they checked on that, then why didn't they arrest me at that time? Okay. Why didn't they file charges then? Why didn't they arrest me on, the, on October 12th? And why didn't they, they charge me on the other date? They charged me today because we're going to continue to fight. And we're going to continue to fight. We're going to continue to fight. Now that you've got this cleared, what are your plans? To work even harder. Tomorrow I'm going to be knocking on the pavement, visiting your business. And now I'm going to be even bolder because now I don't have to worry that I'm going to be harassed. I don't have to worry about being arrested if they want to arrest me tomorrow. They can arrest me, but the only thing that they're going to arrest me for in the future is civil disobedience. That's right. Civil disobedience, peaceful civil we disobedience. Are with Carlos That's right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah. Woo! 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 What's the story behind the uh, warrant for criminal trespassing? I Dallas do not know. I don't even know what that's about. Dallas I'm going to check County. it out. Dallas County. I don't even yeah, know what that's SO, about. Right? I, I don't even know when it was about or when it happened, but obviously it could have been a demonstration. It could have been at Laura Miller's office. It could have been, a, you know, was it Harvey's places. Racket Club? Remember? Uh, Harvey's Racket Club. You know, it could be any of that. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty active, and so, you know, Harvey's Racquet Club could have filed a criminal trespass. Laura Miller could have filed a criminal trespass many years ago. I don't know who What, it was. what about all the other warrants? Are you familiar with the those? The traffic warrants. Right. Yeah, they should have those been resolved. They weren't. Okay. They're resolved now. Now we go on. I will have my day in court. The 1,648 people who were deported, they will not have their day in court. That's right. They will not have the opportunity to go before a judge and talk to a judge like 
uh, Miss Tongas or like you, Brandon, or like you, Patrick, <laughs> that if you get a citation or you, you, you have a, a warrant, you're going to be able to pay that warrant and you have your day in court. And so for me, this is, this is the disparity in the application of laws. And, and you know, immigrants don't have any rights here. Immigrants don't have their day in court. If they get stopped for traffic offenses or minor offenses or one traffic ticket or not having a state ID or not having a driver's license, they go to jail and they get deported. I fortunately had someone that bonded me out and I get to go home with my family. Would you call That's your arrest a protest? Pardon? Would you call your arrest a protest? You know what? I would call my arrest everything that I do in this city is a protest. That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah.